I'm here in Las Vegas with Tony Shea at his condominium, and we are um, talking about really what he does differently, which is just about everything. We just came from a tour of Zappos, and uh, I've known Tony for a few years, and everything he does is very, very different. And uh, starting with the culture that you've, you're really known for at Zappos, you've really started a, a culture that everybody tries to replicate or learn from you. And, and what you're doing. Why did culture become so important to you? How did you really hone in on culture as the key? Well, prior to that was actually, I had co-founded a company called Link Exchange back in 96. And we grew that to 100 or so people and it ended up selling the company to Microsoft two and a half years later. But what a lot of people don't know is the real reason why we ended up selling the company. And the real reason is because the company culture just ended up going completely downhill and just ended up not being a fun place to work at anymore. Uh, I remember when it was just five or ten of us, it was actually a lot of fun. We were kind of your typical dot com, working around the clock, sleeping under our desks, had no idea what day of the week it was, but it was pretty exciting as we were growing and started hiring friends and friends of friends. Uh, and but we didn't know any better to pay attention to company culture. And at some point, we ran out of friends to hire. And so I started hiring people that had all the right skill sets and experiences. But not all of them were great for the company culture. And by the time we got to 100 people, I myself dreaded getting out of bed to go to my own company, which was definitely a, a weird feeling. Uh, and so I was thinking, if I felt that way, how must all the other employees feel? So that's really what led us to sell the company. And then shortly after the sale, I left. The other co-founder left. And in fact, most of the early employees all left within a few months. Uh, after selling the company, got into investing for a little while. But then over the course of a year, I realized that investing was actually kind of boring because I felt like I was sitting on the sidelines. And I really miss being a part of building something. One of the companies we happened to invest in was Zappos, and so I actually ended up joining Zappos full time and been with Zappos ever since. And so, from the beginning, culture was always important at Zappos because I definitely didn't want to repeat the same mistake I'd made at the previous company. And what's interesting is, over a period of about five or six years, it kind of shifted from culture being important to actually culture being a business strategy. And today it's actually the number one priority of the company. And our whole belief is that if we get the culture right, then most of the other stuff like delivering great customer service or building a long-term enduring brand or business will just be a natural byproduct of that. Well, you can feel, you know, you've talked about the, the culture and the, the company, and you've said that, but there was a different experience when I actually got to see it for myself today. During the tour. During yeah. the tour. It was amazing. Everybody was so engaged. You'd walk around and people would be ringing bells or, or involved in, in different things. They were so excited and passionate about what they did. But one of the one of your values I noticed that they had plastered everywhere, which was about weirdness. Mm -hmm. Which which was weird. And uh, so tell me a little bit about that one. Yeah, so we have ten core values which serve as a formalized definition of our culture and so one of the core values is create fun in a little weirdness. And our whole belief is that everyone's a little weird somehow. And so it's really more just a fun way of saying we really recognize and celebrate each person's individuality. And we want their true personalities to come out and shine in the workplace. And you know, there's so many companies in America or the world where you're a different person at home on weekends, hanging out with your friends versus when you come to the office on Monday. And so people talk about work life separation or work-life balance and for us rather than thinking of in terms of life that way we really think about work-life integration you should be the same person at home on weekends as you are in the office on Mondays and what we found is when people are truly comfortable being themselves in the office that's when their true personalities come out that's when the great ideas come out that's when uh, you know their personalities really shine and so we really just want employees to feel comfortable being themselves and expressing themselves however uh, you know, they think makes them happy. And, and it was different, you could see they were happy. Look, one of the things that you're also known for is paying employees 
before the end of the training, I think, or, or during the training period, if they choose to leave, you simply, or after they complete it, tell us about that. So everyone that's hired uh, in our headquarters here in Las Vegas actually goes through a four-week training program before they start the actual job they were hired for. And during that time, we go over company history, the importance of company culture, our philosophy about customer service. And then everyone's on the phone for two weeks taking real calls from real customers. Well, at the end of the first week, we make an offer to everyone in the class. And the offer is that we'll pay you for the time you've already spent training, plus a bonus of $4,000 to quit and leave the company right now. And that's a standing offer till the end of the training. And then we actually extend it uh, a few weeks after that. And this is all before they start the actual job they, they were hired to do. And the reason we do that is because we want employees that really believe in the long-term vision of the company and really feel like this is the right culture for them. And in Las Vegas here, a call center employee, the starting pay is $11 an hour. There's plenty of other call centers. So uh, for us, we found that it's great for weeding out the employees that are here just for a paycheck. And, and you certainly have, because every single person we met, and I remember you saying you could wander around and talk to people on the tour, and I did, and every single person we met was pretty enthusiastic. Well, as I said, you're known for doing a lot of things differently. You're also known, uh, Zappos, and you in particular, for, for doing things um, to make a difference. And I, you can see driving down the highway, Zappos adopting the highway. I saw we, we came in last night, and there was a marathon that Zappos was sponsoring and uh, in, in, in raising funds for, for different causes. And now there's a new project that you're very involved in, in really helping the city of Las Vegas. Could tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so internally, the way we've thought of our brand uh, over the past several years has been uh, in terms of something we refer to as the three C's. So there's clothing, customer service, and company culture. And so historically, that's been kind of the life cycle of the customer. Customers that, people that don't know what we do, want them to know we've got a great selection of clothing, custom, uh, clothing and footwear and other product categories. Once they know about that, then we want them to know we're all about delivering the very best customer service, whether that's through the free shipping both ways we offer, our 365 day return policy, or when they call our call center. And then once they know that, then we want them to know about our company culture and core values, which is kind of the platform that makes all of that possible. Uh, well, we've added a fourth C, which is about community. And this all uh, evolved really over the past year. Uh, about a year ago, we announced we were taking over Las Vegas City Hall. And we got actually... Which you, you so, announced, but you literally mean you're taking Right, literally the, the, the building. So, I missed so, that point. <laughs> so, city, so the city is building a new City Hall building, and so they'll be moving into that soon. After they move out, we'll rent the Vega place and take over. Uh, the old city hall, and it's actually, uh, there's plenty of expansion land around it so we can continue to grow. And it's it's interesting because even that's evolved over the past year. Originally when we thought we'll build a campus, because right now we're spread amongst three different buildings, we thought, okay, this will be great. It's an opportunity to build something like uh, Nike or Google or Apple has where they've got all these great amenities for their employees inside their campus so they can you know, create their little, own little dream world for their employees. But as we started thinking about it, we realized that you know, that may be great for employees, but it's actually very insular. It doesn't really interact with or contribute to the community around them. And so uh, this, where City Hall is, is a couple blocks from this area of downtown Las Vegas that most tourists don't know about called Fremont East, where you know, most people, when they think Las Vegas, think e either the uh, strip where all the casinos are, or if they know about downtown, they think the Fremont Street experience with the overhead light show and the old casinos. Well, on the other side, uh, on the east side of Las Vegas Boulevard, uh, there's a whole bunch of bars and cafes and so on where you would have no idea you're in Vegas. You'd think you were in San Francisco or Austin and so on. And so we thought this actually is a really good opportunity to help revitalize the city. And really, instead of focusing on just Sappos, let's focus on the community and the ecosystem. And imagine if uh, five years from now, you have everything you need to live, work, play within walking distance. And one of our goals is actually to make 
uh, downtown Las Vegas, the most community-focused large city in the world, and probably the city you would least expect it because of the whole image of the Strip. Well, you do everything uh, differently, and it, it turns out incredibly well. Your book, Delivering Happiness, is, is superb, and it, it's full of different advice and looking at things in a different way that really make a difference, and I'm sure that you'll continue that. Stories that we heard on the tour of customers that were on the tour with us who had story after story of how that the, the customer service made a difference, and, and to that was remarkable. So. Thank you for that. Thanks for taking the time to, to talk to me. Yeah, and for anyone watching, we offer tours to the public. And you can just sign up at tours.zappos.com next time you're in Vegas. Tours.zappos.com. Yep. Excellent. Great. Thank you. Thanks.